Right, it's time for another math easy solution to discuss all further into continuity and look at part two of this uh, video series and look at one-sided continuity. In my earlier video on uh, basically continuity, I, I went over it in general and also I went over some examples. And I'll just go over what I mean by one-sided continuity and basically look at if it's continuous from the right and from the left side. This is definitions of this. A function f is continuous from the right at a number a if you have the limit as x approaches a with this plus sign meaning from the right I'll just write that down here uh, and basically from the right of f of x if it equals to f of a right here and a function is continuous from the left at a number a if you have the limit as x approaches a from the left side or this minus sign and yeah, uh, once again this, this con sign convention just means from the left of fx if it equals to f of a. And if you were to graph this one right here, uh, it, all it looks like just here is a function fx. And as you can see, this is from the right side, so if you approach from the, from the right or the plus side of this a, as you can see it's continuous. And, and then at this point right here, this is f of a and it, and basically f of a exists and it equals to the limit as x approaches a plus. Uh, yeah, a from the right side of f of x, and it's not continuous from the left side because this is not defined. You see my other video, my first part one of continuity, it needs to be defined, and it's not defined here. And so, similarly for this one, is basically uh, this graph right here is exact same as this one, except now we switch the uh, wherever it's defined, and it's here it's defined on the left side, so it's continuous from the left, and it's not continuous from the right because it's not defined here. This is a new f of a. Now to illustrate this uh, one-sided uh, limits, I mean uh, one-sided continuity, I'll look at the greatest integer function again. I've gone over it before, twice, one of the uh, continuity examples video, and also an earlier video on limits, so make sure to watch on the video link below. This is also called the floor function, and the notation is basically y equals to, well, you could have this double bracket, or I think it's just, or just one bracket, but with these two stuff like this. And this is in old textbooks. The new textbooks have it, it's like this. It's uh, just... Just this weird bracket sign with the bottom here, and this means the then this is why it's called the floor function because you would go from the left here, and it would just look something like this. And if you have a value like 3.14, this value right here, this would just equal to 3. So all you do is go to the integer, you just remove whatever this uh, these decimal places are, and the value 3, it just well, this one equals to if you have this side equals to 3 right here. So it, if you have the integer it equals itself, that's why this is circled like this. And since this is called the floor function, if you have something like this function, just to, for your information, this is called the ceiling function. And instead of this way, you would have it opposite. You'll have it would go basically like filled in, and then goes like this everywhere. So it's going to be in the well ceiling or the higher value right here. And 3.14, if you have it like this, 3.14, this would equal to 4. And I'll just put that here, ceiling function, just for your reference. But basically what, oh, I want to illustrate this one side of limits, because if you see this one here, this function is actually, well, everywhere it's actually continuous from the right. Because every time you go from the right on, and on anywhere, you're going to be defined right. I mean, it's going to be, well, continuous, because this value is defined. Because let's say this number is 1, 2, 3, etc. So if you were to go finding, let's say, the limit as x approaches 2 plus from the right side, and that's basically this 2 plus you're going from here. As you can see, it's going to go all the way to here, and, and this is defined right here. This is, we'll call this f of 2, and this is basically, well, equals 2, f of 2, and it equals to 2. So it is defined, and basically it's continuous here. So even if this was any number, let's just go. If we go limit as x approaches n from the right side of any number, and then you're just going to have have basically of this uh, this greatest integer function of x equaling 2, well it just equals to n and this equals to f of n. So it just equals to whatever this number is. Because even if this number is 3.14, if you look at 3.14, that's this number, so if you approach it from the right side, it's going to be equal to 3.14, etc. Thus we say this uh, greatest integer of the floor function is continuous from the right, but now if you look at the left side, if we go limit as x approaches, well, any number n from the left side of, of this floor function sine x, as you can see, if, we, if we're approaching from the left of this one right here, well, it's not continuous at these, uh, at these whole integer values right here. So it's not going to be equal to this one here, because if we're going from the, this side right here, this limit, 
is going to be whatever this number is. So if this is, let's say, this is negative 1, this is negative 2, this is going to be negative 2, negative 1. So if you're approaching here, it's going to be negative 2 is the, what your limit is approaching, but the value is actually 2. So there's a, I mean, it's actually negative 1, so there's a jump. So this one, yeah, so this one here, limit is actually equal to, well, n minus 1, because if we look at this one here, you're approaching negative 1. So if we're, if we're going closer to, let's say, negative 1 here, then the actual value that we're approaching is, well, negative 1 minus 1, and that equals to negative 2. So we're approaching this value, but in fact, that's not how, uh, that's not continuous, because it has to equal to just n right here. That's what this is. It. And we say this is, well, not equal to f of n, especially now if you look at from, let's say, this one here, if you're approaching 2, this is approaching this value of 1, but uh, once again, this is not the value of the function here. This is supposed to be this value. So this is the f of 2, which is 2. So you go 2 minus 1, and that equals to 1. So basically, uh, as you go, the 1 is over there. Let's write it here. Well, that's all for today. Actually, I just wanted to go over this uh, greatest integer function. Make sure you also uh, watch a video linked below on the, the examples I went over in, with this one here in more detail. Well, that's all for today. Hope you learned from this one-sided continuity and this useful example. And remember, you can download these notes in the Dropbox link below. And stay tuned for another math easy solution.